everybody welcome back I'm so glad that you guys are here we're kind of getting ready today because tonight I'm going to see a movie and we're just gonna kick it I didn't want to wear too much makeup but I also wanted to wear a little bit of something because I'm gonna be talking to people and I don't want to scare some people away so I'm just kidding, it's a joke. I did partner up with Flower Beauty for today's video and I couldn't be more excited. I'm going to be featuring three of their products and <gasps> they're bomb. Flower Beauty just came out with their new Lash Warrior Mascara and I gotta say, it's pretty intense. So these are my natural lashes and I'm just only using this mascara and oh my goodness you guys, this just gives me the perfect amount of definition, of length, it doesn't look clumpy, it just completely covers my lashes from root to tip. This brush just grabs onto those like hairs and it just coats them and just makes them look woo, super dramatic and super full and luscious. The brush is really really cool. It's like spirally and it has these bristles all around the brush and the bristles really hold onto your lashes and it prevents clumpiness. This formula isn't supposed to flake or smudge on you. Yeah, so this is their Lash Warrior Mascara and it's one of their latest releases. If I didn't know the brand of these gel liners, I would definitely think they're high-end. They're just such a creamy pigmented formula. They were so easy to work with, you guys will see in this video. So I have two shades. This one is in the shade Black and this one is in Silver Fox, which, ha which has like some glitter in it. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. This is a long-wearing gel formula eyeliner. It sets to a satiny, glossy finish once they set they will not smudge so you can put them in your waterline on your lash line you can use this as a nice base over your eyelid yeah so these are the vinyl eyes glossy gel liners which I've been loving as well and lastly we have these brow vixen tattoo like eyebrow stains these are super super cool and convenient what I love about these is the angled applicator this is a super thin applicator it's like an angled tip the actual applicator is so skinny that you can just draw on fake hairs, fill in the little empty spaces between your brows and it just looks really really natural and defined and again since this is a stain formula it's not gonna budge, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna fade throughout the day, no touch up is required and these are smudge proof. They have five shades that is gonna go great for everybody. Again this formula is meant to stay on your brows for 12 hours so the entire day when you're out and about running errands, doing work, or whatever it is, your brows are gonna stay on and look good. You guys, I'm using a makeup wipe to get rid of this and it's still on. Tanya, where can I find these amazing products you speak of? Well, glad you asked. You guys can find them at Ulta. I saw them there today and you guys can also go to your nearest Walmart and pick them up. Or if you're an online shopper, you can just get them at www.flowerbeauty.com. All right, but that is going to be it for me. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey everybody, let's get started on the super easy everyday makeup and don't forget your coffee because we all need some sometimes. So I'm starting off with clean skin and my skin was feeling a little dry so I just applied this e.l.f. hydrating primer. It's silicone based. I'm not a really big fan of it so I'm probably not going to use it again. Moving on to brows, I'm going in with the Flower Brow Vixen Tattoo Stains and I'm going in with the darkest shade which is Espresso and filling in my brows. As you guys can see, I'm using really small strokes and that just gives me the most natural finish. After I filled everything in and brushed everything out once the stain is set, I'm going in with a lighter pen and this is called Soft Brown and I'm filling in the front of my brows and it just gives me a nice gradient finish, doesn't look too harsh. Moving on to the skin, I'm going to be mixing two foundations just to find my perfect shade. And then going in with this Revlon new highlighter like illuminator, I'm gonna just mix all those three products and apply this with a damp Morphe sponge. Use whatever sponge you want. I just bought this today and I wanted to try it out and so far it's okay. I'm not like obsessed with it, but it does the job. And I'm just applying one sheer layer all over my face and then gonna cream contour because I feel like that lasts and looks the most natural on me. I think this brand can be found at Walgreens I'm not 100% sure, but I know it's a drugstore brand and I'm just placing this cream product in the perimeter of my face So my cheekbones my temple area and above my forehead and I'm just gonna blend this out with a dense sponge I mean dense brush. I don't know why I said sponge 
This is also a new product I've been trying out. This is the new Revolution Concealers. I am in the shade C2 and I'm just gonna dot three dots underneath my eyes because I wasn't sure how pigmented this was going to be and three dots was just enough. I also decided to highlight the center of my face as well. Now we're going to go back in with that sponge and just blend everything out until you don't have any harsh lines. Everything is nicely blended and seamless and it looks flawless. And now we're ready to set. This is one of my favorite drugstore powders at the moment. If you guys saw my February favorites, you guys would know. But I'm only going to set underneath my eyes and my chin because I'm still going to apply liquid on top of my foundation, which is this illuminator, just for that extra glow. Anyways, after we did that, I'm gonna just go ahead and clean up my contour, brush it off, and then apply my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, which is another one of my favorites. I'm also gonna take some bronzer all over my eyelid. It's just one of those habits. It just makes everything look a lot better. And then when it comes to blush, I love a pinky one because that just brings life to my face. So I'm just using the e.l.f. blush palette. And then to highlight, I'm gonna use this new Wet n Wild highlighter. Ooh, it's so pretty. Moving on to the eyes, it's very, very simple and easy. I'm going to take this Flower Vinyl Eyes Glossy Gel Liner. This is the black one, and it's so pigmented and creamy. You guys just see it right now. I'm just drawing on my wing so effortlessly. I'm making my wing connect to my lower and upper lash line and extending it out with a brush. This is the easiest way to do wing liner, especially if you're in a hurry. I'm just going in with that black eyeliner halfway just to connect and fill everything in and make it look nice and black. This will make your eyes look cat eye and it's just so flattering, especially on my eye shape because I feel like my eyes are a little bit more almond. And then going in with the Flower Lash Warrior Mascara. You guys are going to see how this makes my lashes look so intense. I love the brush. It just hugs my lashes so nicely and I just coat my lashes. I just go in an upward motion, obviously. You guys can just see from root to tip, my lashes are covered and this just makes my lashes look so dramatic and luscious. So I'm going to apply that to the upper and lower lash line and you guys can just see the difference. Moving on to the lips, I'm just going to use this Soap and Glory like a lip pen and a lipstick in one. This is perfect to just have in your purse and like touch up throughout the day and it's a really pretty nude color. So I'm just going to line my lips with one side and then fill in my lips with the lipstick shade. But that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll just catch you in my next video. Bye. Okay.